Back at the book segment tonight, we continue with Gutfeld McGurk. As you may know, Donald Trump has offered $5 million if President Obama will release his college transcripts and his passport application. Why do we want to see President Obama's college records? Transparency. Does that make sense to anybody? No. I mean, seriously, transparency. What does that mean, transparency? It means there's so many hidden things that we just don't know about our president. What are they? Let's, be, what are the well, list of hidden know. things? What do we care if we see his college records or well, not? Well, you may learn things about Mr. Obama, President Obama, that frankly you didn't know. Well, like and what? I hope that you wouldn't. <laughs> well, they have a little line saying, place of birth. They have a little now, and I hope he. You where, know, I hope where, everything's okay, perfect. Okay. Now, where do no, you no. where do you think he was born? I have no idea. <laughs> I really have no idea. Great. So, McGurk, what do you yeah. think? Listen, I love Donald Trump's uh, uh, smash mouth, politically incorrect approach. And if the, if stuff like this makes Sarah Jessica Parker spit up her frappe and Chris Matthews choke on his dog whistle, I like it a lot. But as far as the efficacy of what he's doing, yes, Bill, a word of the day. The efficacy. E efficacy, excellent. I mean, to, which is to help Romney and embarrass, by embarrassing Obama. I think that maybe in this case, it's not going to work because uh, uh, it's too much. It makes Obama look like a victim. But Romney I, already you has know, I, I told uh, Mr. Trump that for two million, I'll release my college transcripts and uh, passport application. I would do that for yeah, two yeah. million. And it's a legitimate issue. Now, if Gutfeld had managed to go to college, he could do the same. I, I want to make, a, I, I coined the phrase <laughs> philanthropic extortion. That's when you, you offer money to a charity to get some, somebody to do something that will hurt their career. It's clever, but it's vulnerable because it can be done to anybody. If George Soros came to me and offered me five million for those pictures of spring break in 95 with me and you, which to this you state, and Soros, you yes, mean, not me. I would release them. I wasn't anywhere It'll near you. Ruin our. Oh, please, Come on. Bill. I have the pictures. Good for, you I don't have, have the pictures. pictures. That was I've a special time. It was a special time. I have never been, seen, have never been seen with Gutfeld outside the studio. Oh, by that's the way. not true. All right, now, Barack Obama had a great, great line when asked about this offer from Donald Trump. He said the reason is that Trump was mad at him because when they were children in Kenya, good, very good. <laughs> they yeah. didn't get along. That was funny. So it's actually they're using this against Trump. That, it makes Obama look like a victim. It makes exactly. him look right. like, oh, it yeah, gives him an opportunity. Like that, so like but what you got to love the fear that Trump inspires in people. Like when he, when he goes on The View and you know they hate him, they treat him like Jesus Christ. They, everybody's afraid of you know, the way he bludgeons back. When, well, uh, that, we, they remember the Rosie O'Donnell thing. Remember exactly. That? Oh, right. my God. Yes. And, and, and like Frank Rich got it. My friend Frank Rich got, got it yesterday or the day before because he dared to, you know, criticize Donald Trump on this. You got to love that. Okay. Now.